All right, brother. So we can't end this conversation without, of course, talking about the queen, Oprah Winfrey. Can you just give us some insight to what she's like personally? And Flex mode. <laughs> we want to know what has she taught you that you may not have ever have known or thought about? Because, I mean, you come from the world of the NFL. You've had coaches, mentors, motivators. You've heard your you've heard many rah-rah speeches in your day. And I hear Oprah all the time on the YouTube inspirational videos that I watch. And she's an inspiration to so many people. Like, what has she taught you that maybe you never knew or thought I'll about? I'll say this. The thing that Oprah taught me that st stood out the most. Well, first off, Oprah's just, she's Oprah. Um, just amazing. Like, I, at this point in time, I, I would consider her a friend. Um, she's someone I probably talk to, you know, twice a month, once a week, something along those lines, once a month if we're busy. Um, but here's what she taught me. Fellas, first episode of Uncomfortable Conversations with a Black Man, 27 million views. My mind is blown. How in the world does that happen? Second episode of Uncomfortable Conversations with a Black Man, 12 million views. It's featuring Academy Award winner Matthew McConaughey. He calls me up. Acho, I want to come on the show. Third episode of Uncomfortable Conversations with a Black Man, featuring HGTV stars Chip and Joanna Gaines, superstars. Emmanuel, we want to come on the show. At this point in time, I'm like, where do I go next, Mike? Where do I go next, Brian? Reese Witherspoon, Jennifer Aniston, Zoe Zaldana. I don't know what to do. I get a call from Oprah, and we had now partnered up, and she said this, and I'm going to say this slowly so y'all can catch it, especially with this podcast. She said, Emmanuel, do not make a show predicated upon having famous people because eventually you will run out of famous people. Mm -hmm. I said, ain't that a word? She said, Emmanuel, don't make a show based upon having famous guests because eventually you're going to run out of famous guests. I'm sitting here thinking, okay, after McConaughey, it's hard to go higher. I mean, he won, a, he won an Oscar. Okay, but there is Jennifer Aniston. Okay, there's Reese Witherspoon. And Oprah's like, no, no, no. Make a show based on quality content because people will love the content. So what did I do? Two episodes later, I found some regular people, regular if you will, not on TV, and they were white raising black children. And that was that following episode. I took Oprah's advice, and that episode probably resonated with the most people. Mm -hmm. Because I had to remember, if you make a show based upon famous people, what will happen when you run out of famous people? That's so great um, advice, man. Oprah great gave advice. me that, bro, and that's advice that nobody else will give you. Because you know your friends, Brian, your friends might go, you have to book her. I mean, she starred in my favorite show. You have to book him. Like, he's my celebrity crush. But Oprah's like, nah, don't do all that. Like, find the core of the concept yes. and push that. 